All right, so I'll uh, upload uh, an incident management log in CSV format. Then I set the schema. And so the incident number is the case identifier. Start and timestamp are correct. That's the activity, the resource, the role. I could make system and stage as perspectives. Those could offer different perspectives on the process, but that's not very relevant for your need. And then I upload the log. Right, so the log now is in my workspace. I double click to discover the process model. And I see that this takes about three weeks on average. And there's one activity that pops up, prepare solution, which is quite slow. It takes a little bit more than a day on average. If I switch to a business calendar, so I've created a business calendar here with nine to five. I apply that calendar. That is assuming that resources only work nine to five, Monday to Friday. And if I switch back to duration, I see that that task in reality takes a little bit less than six hours. All right, so now let's discover the digital twin of this process. So what I'll do is I'll switch the view to BPMN model, and then I press the second button here to save the BPMN model. I give it a name, keep the same, and I include the simulation parameters to let Apromore also discover all the parameters that allow me to simulate this model, such as activity, duration, distributions, ranging probabilities, arrival rate, resources and their capacities, and so on. Uh, before moving on, I can quickly check who's actually doing this prepared solution. If I do um, control option and right click, then I just select that uh, activity, switch to role, and that is done by an enterprise architecture team, of which I've got a few people doing that. Right, remove the filter. Now go back to the portal, and I see that I've got my BPMN model. I double click on it, and I see the model here. That's basically pretty much what I saw here, right? Uh, but I've also got the simulation parameters. So if I open this drawer and switch to simulation, I see that I'm getting a new cases every 2.7 hours. That's the number of instances being simulated. That's the same as the number of cases here. And then for each uh, activity, I have the resource that does it and its distribution uh, of the duration with uh, the duration distribution with the parameters like exponential distribution 1.36 minutes on average for this activity complete incident. If I switch to the resources tab here, I see all the resources that I've got in my log and each of them has uh, a number of uh, people, so the capacity for that resource. So what I did uh, was to mm, modify this model a bit and now I'm going to open that. I better laid it out with a, a pool and the lanes, one for each resource. And when it goes to uh, when it comes to the resources, I actually put the real capacity of these resources. So five, three, three, and so on, because those that are automatically discovered in the other model are actually assuming that the resources all work on a full-time basis. So for example, if I have uh, uh, 14 resources in my log, 14 people with a role customer support, uh, uh, that uh, doesn't necessarily mean that all these people work full-time on this process. So I just fine tune this here. So now for customer support, for example, I have 10, and I'm basically ready to simulate this as is. And then I can play around uh, with different interventions. For example, I can pick the slow task that we identified before and replace the human resource with um, a bot, simulate again, and see what is the expected impact on time, cost, and resource utilization. So I press this button here to trigger the simulation. Let me call uh, this uh, log. So Promora generates a simulation log let me call it ASIS, right? 
So now if I go back to portal, I have my ASIS log. If I double click on it and set again a business calendar, assuming the resources work nine to five, then I switch to duration and then my slow task prepare solution is there. All right. So now what I want to do is going back to the drawing board, my simulation model, I pick prepare solution. And this task is performed by an enterprise architecture team. Click here on the canvas, go to the resources. And I see that each of these resources work on office hours, right? So that's nine to five. Now I'm going to add a bot. And I assume the bot works 24 seven. I allocate a number of resources, for example, 10, and I put a cost per hour. Let's say that this bot is gonna cost me, I don't know, $1 per hour. So now I go to prepare solution and I change the resource from enterprise architecture team to bot. So here I have to come up with an estimate of the duration of that activity, should it be performed by a bot. So I say, well, the bot is gonna have a consistent behavior. Every time it's going to produce a result pretty much in the same duration uh, for this activity. So I put it into fixed and I assume, for example, it's going to take, I don't know, 10 seconds to perform this activity, right? All right, I do that and I save this as version 1.1. All right, so now I've got my what if uh, process model. I need to simulate that. So building the simulation log for my what if. I'm going to call this what if 10 bots because I allocated 10 bots. All right. So now I've got the second log, 10 bots. I select both of them, right click, and I launch a dashboard to compare them to see whether uh, replacing uh, that task with a bot is really adding value. You can see that uh, the case duration has dropped from 2.63 months, that's the average duration, including a 24-7 period, down to 2.7 days. And if I go here, indeed I add a full capacity for the enterprise architecture team. It was basically fully utilized. And now this has dropped down because I've got a bot and uh, 10 bots is very um, is, a, is already plenty of uh, instances. So you see that I'm hardly using the bot. However, I have started increasing the capacity of the management team. I basically started pushing more work into the management team. That means that at some stage, if I increase, for example, the number of, if I increase the arrival rate, at some stage, this management team will become a, bo uh, uh, um, a bottleneck. So now if I go down to this list, I add this uh, prepare solution, an average duration of 1.25 weeks, uh, including a 24-7 uh, time period. And now that has dropped to basically the fixed 10 seconds. So what this is showing me is that 10 bots is definitely more than enough. So I could go back to the drawing board, uh, board and now replace the number of bots that I've got down here. Maybe from 10, I could try with 5. Save with 1.2, uh, version 1.2, and re-simulate. So what if 5 bots? All right, so now I select my ASIS, what if a 10 and what if a five bots? Launch my dashboard and see what is the impact of that. So the time has slightly increased from 2.7 to 4.37 days, but you see that that is well much, um, that is uh, way uh, shorter than the initial uh, case duration that I had in my ASIS. And you see, that uh, the enterprise architecture team is still now hardly allocated, and so is the bot. If I look at the overview, 
you'll see the Aziz, I build up the queue. This is the work in progress. So uh, the number of active cases over time increases. But if I look at the uh, what if at 10 or the what if at five bots, it's pretty much constant, right? Which means that I can handle the arrival rate in my process. And probably also I'm able to handle some uh, uh, fluctuations on this arrival rate. 